Hello everyone, hope you are all doing good. Welcome to my channel, Good Elite. In today's video, we will create a archery game. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's open scratch.mit.edu and please make sure you are logged into your account so that all your projects are saved and if you are watching the video for the first time, please make sure to watch and check out my previous video so that you will know how to sign up to scratch and also to uh, you know how to use um, scratch. So now we are going to click on create. Right, so as I am creating an archery game, I am going to name my project as archery game. Right, I am going to delete the cat as I don't want the cat. And also today we are going to learn how to create our own sprites and our own backdrop. So you are going to place your cursor, do not click, just place your cursor and you can click on paint. So when you click on paint, this is how it looks like in the backdrop section. So we have backdrop 1 and it's empty too, so I am just going to delete it right now. And name this as archery or if you don't rename it also it works and now I'm going to paint this I mean I'm going to add one background color so I'm going to convert it to bitmap and choose one backdrop color something I just wanted to choose something um, in sky blue yes so it is painted convert it to vector again and now here we have the options so I'm going to click on the circle and keep the outline um, black itself and I'll choose one and I'm going to keep the outline white and I'm going to draw one circle a big circle and I'm going to place it on the right corner and now I'm going to click on the select button copy paste and you're going to minimize it choose the color you want to fill I'm just going to fill black and I'm going to place it inside this now I'm going to copy and paste and I'm going to choose different color this time so maybe something in orange and I'm going to place it so uh, inside archery um, there will be something around uh, three to five as I know so you can add some random colors or if you want to add same particular colors you can check out in uh, Google as well so I'm going to copy paste again I'm going to minimize it and I'm going to choose the color maybe blue this time and I'm going to place it so I have one two three four and I'm going to place one more in the same way um, I feel this is not really placed in the middle right copy paste I'm going to make it very very smaller and then I'm going to choose the target so maybe green works okay now we're going to create the strands on the bottom so I'm just going to choose the background color 4 and I am going to color I mean draw the strands this way I'll draw here like this So make it look something like 3D view and here in the same way and in the same way here also I have drew it and now we can use the color so I'm just going to use something in brown and I'm going to color this so it's colored and our archery is ready now so I'll go back to code and we're going to create the sprite of our by own so you can click on paint again don't click on it please just place the cursor and you can click on this paint option and now you I'm going to use the circle keep the fill color empty and this one I'll just keep it 10 for now and I'm going to draw a circle which has a big outline and I'm going to 
click on the select button I'm going to select this and move it let me select it okay maybe I'll just place it here for now and I'm going to write the text use T and I'm going to type plus so the target and place it in the middle now I'm going to click on the select button select this I'm going to make it smaller as I don't want it to look really so big and place it in the end point in the middle so you see how neat it looks like and I think I am going to change the color of it so maybe the outline as well for this I'm going to change the outline to red and the inside one the plus as well to red so it looks good right so now I'm going to rename this as arrow and we're going to do the coding right now let's, let's get started so now go to events first code that we're going to always add when green flag is clicked it has to broadcast the message as new arrow right so now when I receive the message new arrow it has to go to the uh, you know x and y position wherever it is in right now and then after that I am I need it to keep gliding every 0.5 seconds so I'm going to add glide 0.5 seconds and it has to pick the random position and glide the x also as well as y as well so now um, I'm going to move this oh yeah here so now I'm going to move this here so this is minus 27 and on the other end I'm going to check this 202 and in the same way we're going to check for y 145 and on the bottom it is minus 88 okay so when I click on the green flag it broadcasts a new arrow and it keeps it is gliding but it is gliding only once so we're going to use the forever loop so when you click see this it keeps gliding it keeps gliding every 0.5 seconds so I'll stop this for now and now inside this we're going to add a code so to add this now we're going to use if then statement inside this if statement then statement what should happen so when you press the space key something should happen that is when space key is pressed and if touching the color so if you're touching the color which is uh, you can click on this and first I'll choose green the target point when touching color green it has to say 200 points okay and also I wanted to play a sound so not pop maybe I'll choose a sound which is cheer go back to code and I'll add start sound cheer right and we're going to create a list like a variable list also will store the information and make name it as score so here we have score this is the reason I have placed my archery on the right corner now I'm going to add 200 to score now in the same way duplicate this place it here you don't have to add cheer sound for every color so I'm going to delete that and choose the next color which is blue and I'm going to make the points as 150 and then again duplicate and next color is orange so for orange it is 100 points and then next one to duplicate oh, let me stop this duplicate place it next it is black and you're going to make it 50 points next one it is obviously white and for white we are not going to add any color 
it is uh, i mean any points so it is white and you can see oh, zero points and you don't have to add any score at all okay and after that it has to broadcast new arrow again so that it is going to use this code again and then you can also add go to variables you can uh, add delete all of score in the beginning and then it just to broadcast so now i'm going to click on this presentation mode full screen and i'm going to show you how it is going to work oh yes i forgot to tell you one more thing that you can add is when space key is pressed you can say you can add repeat you can add repeat let me add it here oh no not here below this so it has to repeat to change the size by minus 10 means it has to become small okay and also it has to stop all the scripts stop other scripts so it will stop other scripts and it will only change the size by minus 10 and also now we are going to set the size to 100 here when the green flag is clicked so it has to come back to 100 so now well let's click here it's 50 points so it has not changed the color to 100 point i mean the 100 percent so that is the reason we added set size to 100 percent okay and also here you can place this even out of this okay so it has to stop other scripts in the sprite that way also it works okay so now again it is moving but the script is stopped so if you're changing the script then you need to add you can remove this as well when green flag is clicked you can click this but it keeps moving if you remove the stops other scripts in sprite so this needs to be added here 50 but it still keeps moving in the same way so next you can add set 100 percent it becomes smaller and sees 100, 100 points again so you can also create this in different ways add high score so all that thank you for watching my video hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video stay tuned bye